when i saw her the first time i was like damn hmm. i did not uh, yeah. i did not sense it no Otherwise, obviously not know. obviously you can't <laughs> sense it i have to hide it but then you're checking my pants yeah. under the table so then yeah only the pants yeah yeah <laughs> our getting together was like a hindi film it was very <laughs> very dramatic yeah. with lots of separations <laughs> and not wanting to talk to each other and, uh, and family and this and society <laughs> their favorite child out of the three also, daughters um is finally you know getting serious with somebody who has had not good relationships in the past no no it's like if if there is a person um who's probably not getting the tick <laughs> for marrying my favorite daughter that would be me he has basu fire he my behind is on fire at all times <laughs> <laughs> so yeah karan's only this mess and yeah mood he is very moody you think women are moody get to know karan hi i am vipasha basu and i'm karan singh grover and we are on love talkies on pink villa so we met on our uh, actually yeah. reading in lands end hotel and it was in a banquet room and we were already into the reading and everything and i was like where is this hero Why is he late? I was cutting my hair and, and I was like, ready. "Listen, it's okay today, but on shoot, please tell him that I am very punctual and I'm not going to be waiting. So he has to be very professional and follow time." So they were making calls and all, and my stylist was there with me, who was going Shy. to style the film, <laughs> Shamli. And uh, then he walks in uh, after a while, and he was looking really handsome, clean shaven, like crisp shirt, hair done. and khakis and all uh, no not khakis whatever pants he was wearing so then after a while he was sitting right opposite me and then after a while they all started saying okay uh, they were discussing the costumes and they're like uh, you know uh, we should not uh, have him wear these kind of pants because they jitter on camera so i forgot what he is wearing so i looked under the table she put her head under the <laughs> table to look at my pants i was like excuse me we just met I- I really was looking trying to see what did he wear that they are discussing so much for so long so yeah I do all these kind of silly things without even thinking what the other person must be thinking but yeah I checked out his pants like that for the fabric yeah yeah and I thought he was really handsome and uh, just I was like oh my god I hope he's on time I I've, I've just taken my nose pin off and and yeah my, I got yeah. my hair he had a man bun and he had a no spin and the producer actually kumar ji and bhushan told dekho bipasha se milne se pehle ye baal baal hamare paas heroine hai hamare paas heroine hai aap apne lambe baal kaato aur aap apna no spin nikalo aur fir milna bipasha se so he had gone to do all that that's why he got late yeah the whole makeover when i saw her the first time i was like damn hmm. i did not uh, i did not sense it No, Although obviously not. No. Obviously, you can't sense it. I have to hide it. But then you're checking my pants yeah. under the table, so then. Yeah, only the pants. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I felt and I believe that there is that one feeling that is there, and you have to find it no matter what. And it's not worth living life without it. You know, it's a very, very divine, pristine feeling that everyone should experience and feel. So I never gave up on that. And then I met her and. I felt that, and then I was not coming as well. Our getting together was like a Hindi film. It was very, <laughs> very dramatic, yeah. with lots of separations <laughs> and not wanting to talk to each other, and, uh, and family and this and society <laughs> and so it was like a full. Uh, it was lots yeah, of tears years. and uh, yeah. everything. It was lot, lots, but you know, at the end of it, we had to get together, no matter what happened. it was just it happened yeah. we had to get together like your whole life you search for this feeling and when you feel it then you're not going to let it go at any cost so so she'll take a uh, one pendant that she has of durga ma and she'll take the stones that she has and she will take her bag no uh i would take the passports i would take uh, the money and documents and yadurga ma karan speed dial is uh, no i know there could be there could be ayas 
it could be uh, one of his um, uh, like uh, one supplier who supplies all his uh, supplements and uh, or pasha our man friday yeah no so supplement guy is not there <laughs> supplement guy is always there yeah but no he's not on the table i have this debt and pasha yeah, is there yeah Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Wait, 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 wait! I think he was uh, crying, saying, "Breathe." No, no. I wait, wait, Arya. No. No. Wait, wait, wait! Just now he saw something and he was crying. It is not. Uh, oh, Little Women. Karan was sobbing. Yeah. Little Women. I was. That's uh, how macho I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's sensitive. Will you stop and no? send it to you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a great, it's beautiful. Yeah, it. I mean, yeah. So. She listens to um, gratitude affirmations. <laughs> You're such a cheapo. You just heard in the last interview. That's why you just said it. That's why. No, I, 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 I have I, thyroid tablet. I know and that. Then I do gratitude affirmations. I know you have the thyroid tablet. So you just said it right now to somebody. No, I have that interview. I say I have thyroid tablet. So I don't know if you are saying thyroid tablet in this interview. <laughs> so even when trying yeah, to be right, I'm trying to do affirmations. Okay, give it to him. Oh, he has portrayed me on the canvas already. Um, I'm uh, called the preserver. The first one of the first uh, things that he made. It's a beautiful blue and pink um, uh, artwork. Uh, it's called the preserver and the new me. one is also and there's a new one that he's making it's me again and that's progression. stunning progression it's about how caterpillar becomes a butterfly and the butterfly becomes an archangel and it's it's like so intricate and beautiful it's one of karan's finest work now the one which he's done just now you because are every time it's finest work yeah i don't know why he calls uh, why is it me i don't know but he calls it me so yeah because yeah. She's a butterfly, and she's going to be an archangel. My mom and dad both were very against Karan. Yeah. And they were like their favorite child out of the three also, daughters um, is finally you know getting serious with somebody who has had not good relationships in the past. No, no. It's like if if there is a person um, who is probably not getting the tick <laughs> for marrying my favorite daughter. that would be me i mean i you can't blame anyone for not being you know no but then but the turn around was the parents who did not speak to him or didn't acknowledge him like within a years time they are like ye hamara beta hai my father like and they he are best. inseparable they are like best buddies traveling together chilling together eating together my mother तू मेरी बहू है ये मेरा बेटा है आई लाइक एक्सक्यूज मी हाउ हाउ डू यू मेक्स अ ब्रदर सिस्टर आई सेड हाउ डू यू डू दैट मा नो शी सेज बहू ये मेरा बेटा है तू मेरी बहू माय मदर इज मैड सो इट्स बिकम सो दैट रियली इज वेरी दैट वाज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी बिकॉज़ um आई एम अ वेरी आई एम वेरी क्लोज टू माय फैमिली एंड दैट वन एंड अ हाफ इयर्स I actually distanced myself from my family because they were not accepting Karan. So it was a very tough time for me. So I used to cry a lot, and he used to always stay positive. He said, "Give them time. They are they are right in what they are feeling, yeah, they're... and it's going to happen. You know, give them." And I used to be very angry that just because you've heard something, you can't judge a person. You have to meet for your own and judge a person, and that's the way I am. But my parents. I guess because they're so close, love they love me so much. They were protected. If it was my daughter and she was going to be getting okay. married, okay. We were in Koh Samui, and I was not ready for any proposal. Especially and that day. That particular day, we had a very silly fight. You know, Karan Intense. sometimes used to be very silly those no, days. No, no, no. But I just stated a fact. No, it was not in a I nice. Sh- I stated a fact. I was like, no, baby. Oh, this. You're- like anybody can tell me anything. <laughs> I have a very s- simple funda. As a man, huh. you cannot tell me anything about what I wear, ever. Well, I didn't say anything. And he happened to comment on that outfit that I was going to wear. Bus finished. It was n- going to be New Year's Eve. I've never I said anything. I did not get ready. That. I refused to get ready that day in shorts and ganji. We went finally. We made up. and uh, we uh, 
went for the New Year's Eve party. I said I'll not put makeup, nothing, nothing. I went in my shorts and ganji only. I didn't dress up at all. And we then got like distracted because I love fireworks and uh, on the beach it was like beautiful and I was filming everything like oh baby look at the fireworks and then I was keeping the fireworks at the backdrop and I was uh, filming us so I have and suddenly Karan started speaking something very like with a lot of intention and like um, and I was like what is going on and then suddenly the ring comes in my frame and I looked at it and it was like a horror film expression I made and the phone fell off and that way I have it on recording Ideally, that was probably for anybody else now, hindsight, not the best time to propose to the person you love because you just had a fight and uh, you know, there's so much. So I thought maybe if she says yes now, then that's awesome because uh, even after all this, if she says yes, that's a good thing. So yeah, she has this one thing where she's always right. And, that's uh, not a quirk. That is a quote for me. Okay. I, I don't, I'm never right. <laughs> yeah, and she is a, she will deny it, but she has like a little OCD about um, the order of everything. It's OCD or I keep things clean. Yeah, see, so this is, hmm. it's an OCD. Ah. And any other quote? Uh, no, that's it. Karan's, uh, I'm not used to it yet, Karan's uh, mess. He from point A to point B moves with the production. Like how a film unit is there, the whole production <laughs> with like uh, all these uh, you know vans for different different things. Karan as a production, just as a human being walking from here to there, he takes 10 to 15 minutes to move from here to there because he has to pick up his backpack, then he'll put something in it then he'll take his all crystal stones, then he'll take his accessories, then he will take his books, then he'll take his pens. So by the time he collects all his mess from point A and then he goes to point B and then he spreads it all. Then I'll tell him that he's needed somewhere else. Then by the time he collects it then. <laughs> so whenever we go out, I always keep those production timing in my head and I give him time to get ready. Yeah, it's called the Basu fire which is lit under my behind since the time I met her. Uh, it, it, the origin was from Mumuma. My mother apparently <laughs> has a bigger fire. No, no, it's so the same we fire. We have to go to mom's house, there's a Basu fire, and, and then there's me and him going out. He has Basu fire. Him and behind is on fire at all times. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Karan's only this mess and yeah, mood. He is very moody. You think women are moody? Get to know Karan. At least women have a reason. We don't even have a reason. Yeah. So I said somewhere, I said, I said Karan and me PMS on the same time, but his PMS is far more intense than mine. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I won't even park because I don't know how to drive. Why would I leave my car keys in the car when I'm parking? Because you forget a lot of things. I've never forgotten the forgetful. keys. He's forgetful and I can't drive. So this question is cancelled. I'm not forgetful. Me. Yeah. Naturally. I'll be the one carrying. So naturally I will react dangerously to me. Yeah, like even, even though anytime, after every meal I look pregnant. <laughs> anytime I put on weight, they made me pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. That was irritating. So I I could try to tell them that I'm pregnant. But no, nobody's <laughs> leaving. I don't lie. She can't lie. She's I'm a pathetic liar. Incapable. It's like all the people inside. They just go away, far, far away. Like 200 years, nobody's lived there. And then two crows are flying in the distance. And That's my expression apparently if I lie. Yeah, if she's supposed to say yes and she says no, she'll be like, no. <laughs> 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 what happened? Both. I, both of you? We are yeah. same. <laughs> we do it very often. It's too often. That's why one of us has to eat. Has we, one of us have to encourage, but both of us are thinking, Achha, cancel. Uh, yeah, what do you they really? Oh, it's really late, na? Are we sleep? We sleep at ten thirty. People call pe uh, us for parties at eleven. Who goes out of the house at eleven? What's, if you what's sleep, wrong? What's if, wrong? If you sleep at ten thirty, how can you go for a party at eleven? You'll be like, ah, sleepy. 
not anniversary but he'll forget what dates what dates should i forget occasion something he might forget i might, i won't i remember every date most <laughs> birthdays and all you might forget i won't yeah okay even if my memory is bad i'll remember yeah like it's my brother's birthday yeah you have to call him of course the hmm. one who's at fault the one who needs <laughs> to say sorry <laughs> i hate the word sorry yeah i feel that it's the biggest excuse you know in the world i do not like the word sorry i've heard this some million times yes he's heard it many times man he is very dangerous he left the country almost and disappeared not almost i left the country yeah he left the country and disappeared when we had decided to like just take a break, like just go our separate ways and all he just nobody could find him it was so scary like to find him and um, he just gone like packed and gone disappeared nobody could find him yeah. yeah so that was for me i think that's what he's done very easily i mean i have not done much have i done anything dangerous for you yeah you caused that whole going that was dangerous <laughs> You you caused, yeah, caused a man it. to take everything that he has I and leave. I caused that going. She was yeah. the cause for it. It's yeah. what she said. She only had to say something, and my whole world shifted. So, yeah, that's dangerous. 